My name is Joanne Formosa. I'm an Australian Paralympian. I ride dressage and my horse and I won gold at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. First time I hopped on a horse is when I made friends with a girl down the end of the street just because she had a pony in her backyard and I wanted to ride it. Dad had a horse when he was growing up as well. Dad idolised film star Roy Rogers and Roy Rogers was a singing cowboy who had a trick horse, Palomino horse called Trigger. My poor mum's allergic to horses but she's dragged me, I dragged her around to horse events, um, my father as well, and worked at her own school and just, I had, my whole life was around family and horses. Horses are obviously big and strong and heavy. Um, I didn't know a lot about Jo's accident other than the impairment that it had left her with, um, or both of the accidents. And in both cases, I think they were quite similar. She ended up at somehow underneath the horse in a gateway. So um, both of her accidents resulted in, in these, uh, these injuries that have left her with, with this impairment. With my first accident, my horse I was riding, I had a Welsh Mountain pony. Just this particular day, I was tired, lazy, didn't get off the gate swung it open and it bounced back and caught us in the fence. No one wants to see any member of their family hurt in any way. Um, I remember in and out, we, we did go in and out of hospitals and things like that. It was one day in the shower when it finally hit me, when I was sitting on that crappy shower chair having a shower, it hit me that this is my life. And if this is my life, do I want to live like this or can I do something about it? And being me, I like a challenge. I didn't want to be a, a victim. I wasn't certainly going to have people tell me what I can do and what I can't do with my life. From the waist down, not a lot works. Um, and in the beginning, when I first started with her, it, as a personal trainer, it's a habit to touch someone to get them to activate a muscle. She can't feel most of my touch, like nearly none of it. I remember one of the first times I spoke to her, I was like, well, you ride a five, 600, 700 kilo animal you know, how you can get broken falling off that. So we'll just keep going until, you know, you can't do it. So, so far she just keeps finding a way to do whatever it is I give her. I knew I can still ride. I, no one's gonna tell me I can't do it. I float my horse. I have help get on and off because I can't get on myself. I ride without stirrups. Um, I modified, made my own modified reins so I could hold my reins. Jo and I met in 2000 and I think initially 2010, um, and then we became quite close in the preparation for London in 2011. She had a new combination in her horse Worldwide PB, was a new purchase for her prior to London, and working with him and in a fairly short time frame to try and get him to um, understand how she, what she expected of him uh, was, was really interesting. When we ride him, it's just like, it's just him and I having a dance. London Olympics, went in, rode my test. It was just him and I dancing in the arena. Didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. She beat Lee Pearson, who had got, at that point, had had 10 gold medals in para equestrians. So it was, and nobody had ever heard of Joe Formosa, um, ever. It, she'd not done anything as far as an international performance went. When it was finished, it came out, thanked him. I was just, you know. And then I remember asking my coach, how did I do, was that okay? And she goes, just wave, you idiot, just wave. And she had tears in her eyes, she said, just wave. And I thought, all right. That experience was just, I don't think, I don't think anything at this point of time can match that. I know she would love another gold medal. Um, and then who wouldn't, you know, like it's, it's the pinnacle of the sport. Um, but I think for her, she would just like to be able to do this at the level she's riding, you know, be really competitive and really good at her sport for as long as she possibly can. I've learned more as a coach watching the disabled athletes communicate with their horses than I have watching able-bodied athletes communicate. And it, it's one of those things when you have all of your, all of your limbs and you have a, a full ability and you can communicate with the traditional um, tools that we use, so your reins and your legs and your seat, you tend to use only those things where when they have some level of impairment, they set up a much clearer communication mentally with the horse than, than some of the able-bodied athletes do. I know what that athlete felt like when I was so young and a little kid wondering why he's crying at the flag. I know now. I did it. 
and it's an amazing feeling and it's a feeling I'll never forget. That's the great thing is to be able to inspire other people and encourage other people so they can achieve the same thing. If I can do it, everybody else can do it. They've been told I'll never do anything. You can, you want it, you can do it, it's there. I proved it.